Hello, hello everybody, how you going? Today I hope that answer is wonderful. So just as I get everything set up so that I can see who comes in to say hello and what's happening in the chat. Um, that won't take a second or two. <laughs> coming I know it is um, so yeah I'd like to say welcome to Tracy creating I am Tracy and throughout this video may you be inspired learn something new or simply relax while you're watching so there we it took all that time <laughs> to get that ready so awesome. All right, so we used the Montmartre paints last night and they were pretty awesome. It's drying fabulously. Um, so I'm just gonna get my gloves on. And so I thought because we had some left over, um, we'll do Turn that over, you have a blank background. The love arrow. So I thought there's enough paint there and we should have a look at what else I had. So I pulled out Dream. So I thought that was lovely. Um, So this is a, I'm going to go with a three millimeter MDF pre-cut word arrow and I bought it, um, you can get these, I don't remember where I got this one exactly but uh, you can get them from stores, craft stores like Spotlight, uh, I'm running a blank. Rio is it no riot right I keep forgetting what that's called because I actually don't have one very nearby me so um, other stores like supermarkets sometimes have them or even Bunnings so potentially a hardware store that has a craft section within um, yeah Get that plastic out of the way so I'm going to raise it up onto this when I'm done getting it all open. So this one in particular, you can buy them just the words, no backing. Um, so I'm just going to pop this off and then we'll come in and see who's around tonight. I think it's just got oh, double-sided tape to hold that in place. And see the marks from that one it sticks really well you see and get this bit off while I have a look what's going on in chat so hello jelly bean how are you going Christine good morning from Miami oh good morning to you hello Celine Uncle Beck, how are you guys going? We got a good day planned. There we go, I got that off. All right. There you go, Christine loves Quebec. Oh, I should have kept that for afterwards for a clean background. I was too busy thinking about getting it off the table. All right. So we had, we used up all the turquoise last night and we have the purple, we have white, 
and I've chosen the green to go along with the purple and the white for this one. So I think they would be beautiful colours together. So hopefully productive. I love productive days, Christine. So I hope that works out for you very much. All right. So this is equal parts of paint mixed with equal parts of my pouring medium. A little bit of squirt of water after they were mixed together. Now that's what that is. Now my pouring medium is actually 10% Atelier pouring medium and 90% Australian Floetrol. So that's mixed up together and I keep that in a separate bottle. This is my PM. So that's what I like to use. Thanks, you're very welcome. All right. So part of me feels like I don't want to do uh, I can't think of the word, like any, we did a balloon on the love and I've done swipes on when I did the MDF letters individually. Um, but so this one, I, I like to do things differently. And sometimes I don't know if that works in my favor, but <laughs> other times it's just fun. So this one I'm feeling like I want to cover a majority of the center with the white. And try and see about creating that pink, pink, not even using pink, green and purple. Uh, one at the top and one at the bottom. And see how that goes. Because I feel like it would look amazing. So let's see if I can transfer that to the actual project. So just pushing around the white, making sure that centre areas are all covered. So I don't think there's going to be a lot to this one, but I think it's going to look beautiful. Push that down there a little bit. There we go. Oh, I have confidence in this already. Cheering. Yeah, that my son was in the background and he just laughed at something. It was almost like he was laughing at me. But I know he wasn't. <laughs> So, uh, what's the 10% again, please? Sure. Um, Atelier Porium. So, prior to finding this one in particular, I used to use um, Liquitex. So, it's just the fact that there is a combination of a pouring medium, a store-bought pre-mixed pouring medium, um, and the Australian flood flow troll. So, right. There we go. Can you do a funnel? I can have a go with that. That's something I'll look into, Jelly Bean. Okay, thanks. Oh, you're welcome, Christine. 
absolutely so I feel I want to do the green on the bottom see that looks already effective already looks effective can't get my words <clears throat> and then I choke on it oh <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> sometimes we have those moments so I'm not going to leave a blunt line though I am going to think about how I'd like to blend them would I like to use maybe the airbrush a little and sort of have them blend with a little bit of blowing the colour into each other just a little so along those lines that's what I'm thinking um, yeah see how that's got that straight line I don't want to have that Maybe just something soft something little so not not thinking of big blowing and you know Dutch pour style or anything like that just little subtle soft soft mix blend just getting this green over that one up there up there so all I'm doing here is just pushing it around, just making sure that there aren't any blank spots on the MDF, and that looks good. So, right. Awesome. That is a really pretty green. This is actually, sorry, I shouldn't have said green. It's a Viridian just in case you're trying to match the colours maybe a straw you might be on the ball there Jelly a straw just might be so subtle enough for a gentle blow and to do that so let me see Looks like I don't have any nearby, but I know where they are. So I might go and grab one or three so I can leave some over here. Okay. So how is that looking? That purple on the top. And this one is specifically called Just Purple. Like, not Just Purple, but <laughs> Purple. It's kind of a little bit exciting. I've had these Montmartre paints <clears throat> sitting here for a little while. Uh, but I had so many of my other paints still that I didn't want to open these ones before I was really getting close to using up all the others so it's really nice to use these paints okay. and if you saw yesterday's video you'll see that they're you know, big two litre bottles which is awesome trying to you know it's really good when you can buy an amount so that you'll have some paint for a little while okay. that's how I ended up with my other paints for so long so there we go a couple of spots to join the purple up to the white Maybe there, maybe over here. All right, looks good. 
And there he is. My noisy boy. Okay. Let's bring that down a little bit further. To go across to there. There we go. Alright, fabulous. So, I will be really quick and grab a straw. in the container just to go just quick grab them I've got five so now I have some extras over here so thank you for your patience all right so when I use a straw I like to because normally when you drink it this is the bit you put your mouth on when I'm using this for blowing paint I like to blow from the end here and use this to direct some of the airflow. So, all right. so I might just have to move the camera a bit, otherwise. You might just end up with a whole lot of back of my head. Alright, so I'll start over here. Ooh, that blew really a lot. So I may need to go back through the wall. So I've got to be even more gentle than that. I don't know that it's blowing as softly as I'd like it still. But it has made it less straight. So that's a bonus. Blow the airflow with a squeeze. Geez, talk about lung capacity. Okay, I think that helped. So I'll turn around and go for the green now and potentially bring back some white in some of these areas. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. All right, let's turn it around and do the green.
Well, I just might have to close the door. Hang on. Sorry about that. I'm trying to really focus on just catching the edge of the green and blowing that over the white. So. Alrighty, let's have an overall look at that and pulling some ends with tip of palette knife. Yeah, Christine, I like that. A little bit there and there. Alrighty, so now that that's done, let's have a quick close up. You can see that some of the edges did manage to, like up here, thin out a little as it went over. Not all of them. Okay. okay, now I do have a little palette knife, maybe. Red some white. I'm not worried about the sides. Um, because once it's all dried and cured and then I'll flip it over and I'll spray paint the back I'll also catch the sides I'll get some paper towel okay let's see about just some little wispies or a tooth Toothpick might be a little bit too fine, I think, so, oops, dug in a little bit deep with that one. I 
seem to be disturbing the pot a lot more. Can you tell? Let's see if I can bring you closer now that we're... It's so hard because it's really quite long to get the whole thing in. You have to be quite high up. So let's see about getting some of this. Wow, talk about trying to be trying to be really delicate because um, I don't want to pick up a lot of paint, but I do want green in that spot to try and make it match up a little towards the M. Sorry, a lot of focus going on here. Yes, great wisps. Awesome. Awesome. And that section was about bringing some of the white back through the green. have it that's the green side done I'll flip it around do the purple and then we'll have a close-up before signing off for the night so I do have do also have one more word and just trying to think of what it was I just saw it before starting this video um, Let's see. I can't even see it from here. I'll check it in a moment. Um, 
So there is one more word to be done. So I'll have to think about the colours for that one and how I want to do it so that it's different to the previous ones. So that was... Didn't I balloon that one? The love one? Um... This one, I might do that thing where I focus on bringing, sorry, focus on bringing some of this white back into the purple. There you go. Nice. Thank you, Christine. And thank you for the suggestion. Oops, I forgot to wipe it. So it turns out it is pretty imperative. I don't to wipe it off in between um, each individual stroke because you might do what I just did then and transfer some of the white further into the color than you hoped to. Bit of white. Kind of blend that in. Okay. So wiping my knife off will move you over instead of moving the camera. How about that? So there we go. So one of the things I forgot to mention in the last few videos was I now have a Facebook group. So if you're on Facebook and would like to share anything with me, um, I have a small but growing community in there it's called creating and sharing with Tracy and yeah still getting used to posting in there and everything but it's a set up ideally as a place for sharing because um, I had a lot of people say how can I share my work with you or you inspired me to do something so I want to share it with you uh, so I've created that group for ease of sharing with that. So if you're on Facebook and would like to join, just go search it up. And I don't have a link below the video as yet. Um, but yeah, search it up and request to join. There's just two simple questions. Very basic. But that will help me to approve. There we go. Now with this, see how this one on the E comes down really low? Lower than the rest? Uh, I'd like to, so this one I'm going to do the reverse and bring the white back into the purple. So into the white and then bring that through, lifting it up. There we go. And then same next to it. Awesome. And then this one will just create a little wisp over there and put some purple in that space. And this side, oh, did it again. See you there. Awesome, Christine. So I also have a bit of a milestone happening. And today must be the 28th, I think. Um, can't see my calendar from here. And so in three or four days, will be a very special moment for myself and it's not a birthday that was in May um, but it's it's most definitely an achievement and 
yeah so I will have something hopefully quite fun and special for that video I do think it falls actually I'm not sure what day it falls on but I will have a special video just for that So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And also give the video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. Or like I say, find inspiration or relaxation or anything while watching. I'm just adding some white to that one. Uh, and so uh, please, what do we cover? Subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. You can select, click on the bell and you can select all. That way you'll be notified when I do videos or go live or anything like that and create more content. So that's the M. Sorry about that. That last bit was probably off screen. So now we'll do some here on the arrowhead. And for those watching the replay, um, please leave a comment below or if you come back to watch the replay for any reason, leave a comment. It's always wonderful. Sometimes I do get behind and I admit it um, on comments, but I do read them all and I appreciate them so much. So here we have it. All right. All little wispy bits completed. Let's have a close-up look. So if you have any further questions for me, um, please pop them down in the chat box now because with some of the delays and lags, um, I may not see it until I've actually signed out of live. So, But if you pop it in there now, I'll be sure, sure to see it. So we'll have a close-up. And then we will be signing off. That is so cool. I'm happy with that. So happy with that. Purple and green. All right, just lift it up. There we go. Just trying to clear that hole that space in the R. Right. So one of the other main ways, I have a PayPal, PayPal me address in the, should be in the description below, if you would like to support me in that way. But my big request is that you share my videos. Um, that way other people see it, may become a new subscriber themselves and find inspiration from the videos. So, there we go. That is awesome. So you guys have been amazing tonight. I really appreciate you. We've had wonderful suggestions. We've got the straw. Got the little wispies like they look great I can't wait to see how it looks dry so, and then I'll just have a look at what that other word was that we've got left might just focus it on the dream section okay all right so do you, uh, Looks great. Thank you so much, Christine. Lovely. Good night, Jelly Bean. I'll just grab that word. And it is. <laughs> it's a good word. They're all good words, but it's laugh. So, something joyful. So, I think that needs to be like perhaps oranges and yellows 
bright and happy. So, fabulous. All right, good night to you. Thank you very much. Yes, good morning to you. Have a fabulous day. Um, and thank you so much for being here through the video and your suggestions. So, all right, on that note, if you have to go anywhere, please take care. And from myself, be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.